Hello, my name's Tom Lodziak. In this video, I'm going to show you how to teach very young kids how to play table tennis. And I have a special volunteer for this video. She's six years old and she's called Beatrix and she has the misfortune to be my daughter. I'm starting to play table tennis with Beatrix. So I thought it'd be useful to share some of the things that we're working on. So if you're a parent with a young kid and you want to get them into table tennis, hopefully it will give you some good ideas about how to teach them to play. This video is brought to you in partnership with the fantastic Brybar Table Tennis. Brybar sell a wide range of bats, balls, nets, robots and tables from the leading table tennis brands. Go to brybartt.co.uk for more information. When teaching young kids, some coaches prefer to do activities off the table to help develop the hand-eye coordination. And there's loads of things you can do with catching and rolling and all of that sort of stuff. And that is good, that's great, that's fantastic. But my personal preference is, you know what, just get them on the table, get a bat in their hand and start hitting some balls. When they're age five or six, then yeah, they're just about tall enough to be able to see over the table. The first thing to show your young table tennis player is how to hold a table tennis bat. Usually when you give a table tennis bat to um, a small child, they will instinctively just hold it like this. So what you want to um, get right to begin with is just to get their finger into this position and their thumb into that position. It's not always so easy because a child's hand is really small, so they can't quite always get it in exactly the right position. But what we're trying to avoid is either holding it like that or holding it, as they often do, like this as well. So just trying to get the finger into this position, the thumb into this position. When teaching young kids, I always start off with drives, and in particular, a forehand drive. I think so. it's a really easy shot to learn. And it's a really good shot for understanding some of the basics about table tennis, in terms of the timing of when you hit the ball, how much force you need. The technique doesn't have to be perfect, and I wouldn't get too hung up about that. Keep your instructions really simple and just focus on a couple of things. See if you can just get the, the general shape of their arm where you want it to be. Often when they're little, they kind of want to play like this. That can feel a little easier for them. So it's encouraging them just to have the back to the side a little bit um, to play like this, height, height of the child here. Um, and the other thing is, I think, to try to encourage them to go back and forth, back and forth. So really you're getting them to rotate, but without using that language, just back and forth. So you go back to getting your shape. That's it, arm like that, and then back and forth, back and forth. Okay. I recommend getting yourself a box of balls, then stand close to the net, and then feed the ball slowly, and just focus the child on hitting the ball as it has reached the top of the bounce. As you keep feeding the balls, the child is going to begin to learn about how much force is actually needed to hit the ball over. Initially, they may hit the ball way too hard and the ball goes everywhere, but get them just to slow down and don't hit the ball so hard and then it will start landing on the table. When your child can start consistently hitting the ball over the net from your feed, then it's time to progress onto doing a rally. Hit the ball slowly and try to keep the ball low over the net. Because if it gets too bouncy, it tends to go above and they can't quite reach it, okay? So you want to try and keep your feed low over the net and to keep it slow. And both of you just try to keep the ball on the table. You can give yourself a target. I think that really helps focus the child's mind and um, it's something they want to strive to do and something they really enjoy doing and just a simple target. So to begin with, try to do 10. 
Can you do 10? So get your shape. Mm -hmm. You've got your shape. You're going to go back mm -hmm. and forth, back ah. and forth. And you're just going to hit the ball just a little bit slower. Okay, we're just going to try and keep the ball on the table. Okay. We're going to see if we can get 10. Are you ready? Yeah. And when you keep repeating this, you'd be amazed by how quickly they're able to hit more and more balls on the table. Now what about backhand? How much backhand should you do? Well, I think when the child is small, five or six years old, I think just limit how much backhand you do initially, just because they really have to get their elbow quite high to do their backhand and their arm soon gets tired. So you can do a little bit of backhand, but don't overdo it just because physically it is more tiring for them to do. Um, but you can do exactly the same principle when you're teaching backhand, start off feeding the ball um, closer to the net, and then um, if that's going okay, you could build it into a little bit of a rally. But it tends to be when they're smaller, they find backhand a little bit harder to do. That's it, so with our backhand, you're gonna be facing me, shoulders facing me, hips facing me, let the ball come, forwards, forwards. Once your child is able to hit some forehands and hit a few backhands, well, actually you can add in a slightly more complex exercise where they have to switch between backhand and forehand, backhand and forehand. You can feed the balls from the table again, or if you've got good control, then you could take part in the rally. This is certainly harder to do um, because um, the child has to get used to be able to switching from one to another and get their body in the right position. But um, it's a good progression for them to be able to develop a little bit more. You've played your backhand, Play your forehand, and then step back, backhand, step forehand, step backhand, yeah, step yeah, forehand. Yeah, yeah. You get the idea? Stop picking your nose. Right, get back up that table. Right, backhand, forehand, backhand, forehand. No, we can't. You need to keep repeating the exercises again and again and again, but you'd be amazed how quickly they can improve in the space of, you know, even a few days, um, but more realistically over a number of weeks, um, then they can start getting really much more consistent in, in what, they, what they're able to do. And don't forget to have some fun. Um, when they're this age, you, know, you don't want to make it too serious all the time. Here's just a really silly game we're playing where Beatrix is trying to hit her brother. Um, here's the target and she's trying to see if she can hit him on the head. Right, you've got about 10 more balls left. Can you get his face? Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hopefully there's uh, some useful tips in there. If you're somebody who is coaching small children or if you're trying to teach your own children to play table tennis. 
Um, I'm gonna keep playing with Beatrix. She seems to be enjoying it. So every now and then I'll post a new video and we can see how Beatrix is improving. Um, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe. Thank you very much to Bry Bar Table Tennis for sponsoring this video. And I will have plenty more videos coming soon. I'll see you then. Bye bye.